Hello, this is Laura Holmgren with the Polytechnic School EdTech Instructional Screencast on customizing your Kindle applications. This presentation provides information on how to access tools and features of the software and how to adjust settings for your reading comfort. When you launch the Kindle application from your PC, Mac, or iPad, you'll see the books and documents in your Kindle account. Here's a brief overview of the items on this main screen. You will first notice the cloud and arrow icon on one or more of the books in your account. It signifies that these works have not yet been downloaded to the device you are currently using. Double-click the book cover and the download process will begin. Using the sort pull-down, you have options for organizing the view of your books on the main screen. Click on the Sync button to sync your annotations and progress through the book with another copy you may have been reading on a different device. Use the Collection tool to organize your books into categories. They work much like playlists in iTunes. First, add a collection by clicking on the plus sign and naming the collection. Then click and drag the covers to the appropriate collections. When you click on the collection name, only the books in that collection will appear on the main screen. Collections are also synced, and one book may be included in more than one collection. Click All Items to return to the full library. Now let's briefly look at the main menu pull-downs. When you've clicked once on a cover, the options in the File menu darken to let you know they are available. Most of the options in the other menus are available once you double-click to open a book. It's unlikely that you'll remember where all the options are from watching an introductory video, so I encourage you to explore the menus at your leisure. As with all applications, it's more important to develop the skill of figuring out where to look for the tools or information you need than to recall how to do a particular function in a particular application. There is one setting, though, that we want to point out, backing up your annotations to your Kindle account. From the Tools menu, click on Options. A window will open, giving you access to a number of preferences. Click on Annotations. Make sure the Annotations Backup box is checked. We also encourage students to deselect popular highlights. You'll want to read clean copies of the text so that you develop the skill of annotation, without having passages highlighted by others who have read the book before you. The feature is designed to promote a sort of social element, and it can be valuable to see what others marked. But you'll want to do this after you've finished the text. Don't deny yourself the opportunity to think for yourself first. In the next part of this tutorial, you'll learn how to adjust the appearance of your text for your reading comfort. From your library, double-click on a title to open the book. If you haven't already synced your account, you can do so here. You can change the font size, words per line, screen brightness, and the page color with this tool. Move the sliders to find the settings you prefer. If you'd like to read in a one-column format, something particularly helpful on smaller screens, toggle this button. Before we wrap up, let's take a look at the Kindle iPad app. While the layout is virtually identical on PCs and Macs, there are some variations on the iPad. Launch the Kindle app by tapping on it. As with the computer applications, you can toggle between cover and list views. You can sort with this button. The sync button is at the bottom of the screen on the iPad. The gear icon button gives you access to the settings. Tap on Other to double check that your device is set to back up your annotations and to turn off popular highlights. Tap a cover to open a book. This presentation has provided you with information on the tools and features of Kindle applications including how to adjust the appearance settings for your reading comfort. Thanks for watching and happy reading!